it's something so many of us do without giving it a second thought. Need a ride? Open a nap. When a car shows up, hop in. South Carolina college student Samantha Josephson got into a car she thought was her Uber Friday morning, and she wound up dead. Chilling surveillance video shows a 21-year-old standing near a crowd outside a bar in Columbia right around 2 in the morning Friday. Car pulls up. She can be seen climbing in. And hunters found her body about 14 hours later in a field some 90 miles away. Police have arrested Nathaniel David Rowland, charging him with murder and kidnapping. Investigators found Josephson's blood inside of his car. And this is what you have to hear. This is her mother during the suspect's court hearing. I cannot fathom how someone could randomly select a person, a beautiful girl, and steal her life away. His actions were senseless, vile, and unacceptable. It sickens us to think that his face was the last thing that my baby girl saw on this earth. Samantha Josephson isn't alone in becoming a victim after summoning a ride. A CNN investigation just last year uncovered more than 100 reported sexual assaults in several cities. So I've got Diane Gallagher, who's following the developments for us from South Carolina, and our CNN tech reporter, Aisa Garcia. So, uh, Diane, just to you, what more are you, are you hearing about how this happened? So, to be honest, Brooke, that, that's sort of the mood here is a mix of fear and grief because they're not really sure what led up exactly to her getting into that car and what transpired right afterward. Perhaps the most chilling detail of this entire sad, sad situation is the fact that police say that the driver employed the child lock feature on his vehicle, meaning that the windows and the doors were likely locked. And according to the police, that meant that even if she had tried to escape, she likely was unable to. Now, when they found her body, according to the warrants, they, she had wounds on her head, her face, her neck, her upper body, hands, feet. They found not just blood in that vehicle, but they also found cleaning products and they found her cell phone. And the, the key here is the fact that that was not the car that she summoned. She, she called an Uber and she got into that vehicle and that was not the, the vehicle that she called up. He was not her Uber driver. She thought it was because it matched the description. Uh, you see how casually, which just, oh, it just makes your bones shiver. You see how casually she just gets in there, not knowing what is about to happen. But she doesn't check the back to check the license tag. And in South Carolina, Brooke, they don't have to have a tag on the front. So there's no way she would have matched that there. And that is something that her father says is now his life's mission. He needs to make sure that not just the apps are responsible for safety, but also people make sure that they do what can keep them safe on these rideshare apps. Take a listen. You guys have to travel together. At night, let's be honest, you guys are drinking, leaving the bar, or whatever it may be. You get into an Uber, you don't know if it's an Uber. You don't know anything about it. If there's two of you, something less likely will happen. Samantha was by herself. She had absolutely no chance. None. Oh, Brooke, you just hear her father say she had no chance. She was supposed to graduate in about a month. She was going to Drexel University Law School, a bright future. Everyone has amazing things to hear and say about her, and she's gone. To hear the mom speaking in that courtroom saying there is now a hole in the universe. You're, you're, you're obviously, your heart goes out to, to her, and you think of how many times you've gotten an Uber, as I used it to you. You know, yep. how many times you get in an Uber. I know they have the license plate, you know, I know that it's the car make and model, but how many times you get in an Uber they're, and they're not marked and you I jump in? Yep. Yeah, and that's one of the things for riders. Safety can start before you ever even get into that car. Um, you know, I've, I've reached out to both Uber and Lyft and they've referred me to their rider safety tips. Um, and one of the first things they say is call the Uber or Lyft from inside a building if you can. That way you're not looking as vulnerable on the street to, you know, people who might have bad intentions. Um, and then to make sure to check the license plate before you get into any car, make sure that the license plate on the car matches the one on the app. And to also check the photo of the driver because every rider is 
uh, you know, equipped with a photo of the driver before they ever get into a car. Um, and then while you're on the ride, one of the things, I mean, and this is something that you would have to be in an Uber or Lyft um, to enact, to activate this, this feature, but one of the things you can do is send your GPS location to a loved one or someone who can kind of monitor to make sure that you are getting to your destination a great um, idea. and that you are on route. It's a great idea. It's a great idea. We have to be alert. Diane and Aisa, thank you so much, ladies, very much. Uh, and such a tragic story out of uh, South Carolina.